In this problem, we have to determine what the value of x is in this expression right here. But to solve for x in an expression, the expression has to be set equal to something. So how are we going to solve for the value of x in this expression right here? Well, notice that this expression is wedged in this angle right here. And this angle is formed by these intersecting lines right here. And when two lines are intersecting each other, they form something called vertical angles. So if we take a look at this angle right here and this angle right here, notice that they look identical, and that is because they are identical. Whenever you have two lines intersecting each other, the vertical angles that are directly across from each other are equivalent in measure. So we could say that this expression right here, 9x minus 8, is equal to this angle measure on the other side, which is 64 degrees. So we know that this angle right here is 64 degrees, which means this angle right here must also be equal to 64 degrees. But this problem is not asking us to find the angle measure here. We just are trying to figure out what the value of x is, given the information in the problem. So now that we have our expression set equal to 64, Let's isolate this x variable so we can see what it is equal to. So the first thing that we have to do is the opposite of subtracting 8, which is to add 8. And what you do to one side of your equal sign, you have to do to the other to balance your equation. And we bring down the equal sign, and we add 64 and 8, which is 72. Now these opposite integers cancel out to be 0. So now on the left-hand side of our equal sign, we have 9x plus or minus 0, but we never really write plus or minus 0, so just bring down the 9x. Now 9 and x are being multiplied, and we have to do the inverse operation, which is to divide. And whenever you divide a coefficient by itself, it turns it into 1. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we have 1x remaining but we have to balance our equation by dividing everything on the right-hand side by 9 as well. And 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. So we have determined that the value of x is equal to 8. Let's just plug 8 into the expression to make sure that it is in fact equal to 64. So if we plug 8 into x into the original expression, that would give us 9 times 8, which is 72, minus 8. And 72 minus 8 is equal to 64. All right, let's try another example. In this example, we still have to find the value of x. And x is located over here on this side of our two intersecting lines. We have the expression 400 divided by x plus 15, and that is going to be equal to 95, so let's set that up as an equation. So 400 divided by x plus 15 is equal to 95. So this expression represents the angle measure of EBC, and 95 represents the angle measure of DBA, and we know that this expression will be equal to 95 because these two angles are vertical angles. So the first step in isolating the x is to send this plus 15 to the other side of our equation by doing the opposite. So we write minus 15 right beneath. So they cancel out because positive 15 minus 15 would equal 0. We have to do the same thing on the other side of our equal sign. And 95 minus 15 would give us 80. Now we have to bring down the 40 divided by x. Now we have to do the opposite of dividing by x, which is to multiply by x. And to show multiplying this quantity by x, we're just going to place parentheses around this and write an x as a numerator. That way we can cancel out those x's. And what we do to one side, we do to the other side. And remember, when you are multiplying a number by a variable, just write the variable right next to that number. So on this side, 80 becomes the coefficient right next to our variable of x. So now we have the equation 
400 is equal to 80x or 80 times x. So now the variable is on the right side. So let's just send this coefficient of 80 over to the left side. And we do that by dividing 80 by itself. And what that would leave us with on the right hand side of our equation is just 1x. And we must balance our equation by dividing 400 by 80. And we can cancel out one pair of zeros, leaving us with 40 over 8. And 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. So the value of x in this expression right here would be equal to 5. So let's check our answer by substituting this variable x with 5 to make sure that 400 divided by 5 plus 15 is equal to 95. So we're going to take 400 and divide that by 5. And after we get that, we're going to add 15 to that and see if it makes 95. So 400 divided by 5 is equal to 80. And 80 plus 15 is, in fact, 95 degrees, thus confirming our answer that x is equal to 5.